Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, we often talked in the past of Bluetooth and how it sometimes can be a security hazard. And if you don't use any Bluetooth devices, make sure that it's off on your smartphone, tablet, PCs. I turn it on only when I actually need it. And uh, if you look here, you'll notice that my uh, Bluetooth is actually um, off. And let's uh, just go here. Shut down this. Here we go. So Bluetooth is off. When I need it, I turn it on, but only when I need it. And I do that with every device, including my smartphone. My Galaxy S22 is an example of how I also do this, even I, if I have wireless earbuds. So there's an attack called Bluffs. It's an attack that was demonstrated to work on a very, very wide range of Bluetooth devices that are unpatched. Uh, and they, they actually successfully uh, exploited it on iPhones, Mac computers, on uh, PCs, on Android smartphones of all sorts. Now, um, in Windows, one of the good things about it is that Microsoft and the latest Patch Tuesday security updates in November actually fixed this. So for the most part, a lot of the devices probably are okay on Windows, but still, this is just a reminder that unfortunately, you need to turn it off if you don't need it. Uh, because it's not the first time and it's been quite often mentioned that people had security flaws in their Bluetooth um, devices. So um, what you'll need to be checking out is making sure that you update your systems to make sure that it also updates the Bluetooth uh, device and the drivers and everything. So basically that will happen as you update your smartphone. The Bluetooth will be part of what the update is all about. Uh, there is already a fix for this. And what happens if you are exploited is that they actually can get to uh, inject code because they get what security key the Bluetooth device is actually using. And then they are getting access to do what they want. So just be very, very careful with this because um, you never know. Now, what makes it a little more difficult to actually attack is that you need to have two affected Bluetooth devices. So for example, if your smartphone got an update and it's fixed, but you're using uh, maybe Bluetooth earbuds that are not fixed, well, just one device is not enough. It, it won't work. So you're safe even though one of the two devices is not uh, secure. You need two unsecured devices for this to work for the attacker. And of course, you have to be near somebody that wants to attack you with this. So it still mitigates you know, the attack, but it doesn't put it at zero. And there are circumstances where maybe it's more risky than others. So use it when you need it, but turn it off when you don't. It's the best way to stay secure. Uh, I apply this all the time to every device I own. It's off if I don't need it. It's on only when I need it. Like that, you mitigate the uh, chances of having some problems with the Bluetooth devices. And of course, if you see updates for Bluetooth drivers, updates for anything Bluetooth on your devices, go ahead, let them happen because they fix the problem. And of course, this comes with probably all the smartphone updates that we get every month for security. Bluetooth devices will be secured also at the same time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.